In today's video, I am going to tell you about the inexact differential equations. So, if we are given the equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 and if this condition dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x is not satisfied that means dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x then this equation is said to be an inexact or non-exact differential equation in the earlier video we had discussed about the exact differential equations and how to solve them in this video we are going to see what are the rules to convert the inexact differential equation to the exact form so that this condition will get obeyed okay so we will now see one by one how to convert how to convert the inexact differential equation to exact differential equation so for this we find something called an integrating factor integrating factor in short we just call it as if and this integrating factor is multiplied to this equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 and once we multiply it then this inexact equation gets converted to the exact differential equation so now the question is how to find this particular integral factor how to find it so for finding out the integrating factor there are some rules so one by one we shall see the rules for finding the integrating factor that is the if so the first rule is that the integrating factor can be found by inspection that means you will first check the given differential equation then you will see if some terms can be rearranged and whether we can then solve the given equation by rearranging the terms now the second rule is finding out the integrating factor of a homogeneous differential equation see what is the meaning of homogeneous differential equation the equation where the all the expressions in the equation have the same power right so supposing if we have an equation like this x square dy plus y square dx is equal to 0 let us say this is one equation then in that particular case both the terms have the degree 2 so this is called as a homogeneous differential equation so if our equation is of this type that it is homogeneous then the integrating factor of the homogeneous differential equation is given by 1 upon mx plus ny where this term that is mx plus ny of course should not be equal to 0 So this is the second rule now for the third rule in the third rule supposing the equation is of this type which type f1 xy y dx plus f2 xy x dy is equal to 0 let us say that the given equation is of this type in this particular case the integrating factor is given by 1 upon mx minus ny where of course once again mx minus ny will not be equal to 0 
So over here in this type of equation, you can take y common over here and you can take x common over here and rewrite the equation and that gives you the integrating factor. So that is the third rule. Okay, now we will see regarding the fourth rule. So fourth rule, in the fourth rule, we evaluate this expression dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divided by n. And after evaluating this expression, if whatever we get comes out to be as a function of, let's say, x only, okay, and we call that function as fx. If that happens, then integrating factor in this particular case of such an equation where this expression is a function of x only is given by e raised to integration fx dx. Similarly, supposing we evaluate the expression dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y divided by m and if this expression comes out to be a function of y only that means this is equal to let us say f y then for such an equation where this expression is only a function of y the integrating factor is given by e raised to integration f y dy. Okay, now we will see the fifth rule. So, rule number 5. Supposing the equation is of this type. x raised to a, y raised to b into bracket m y dx plus n x dy plus x raised to a dash y raised to b dash into bracket m dash y dx plus n dash x dy is equal to 0. Let's say that this is the equation. In this case, the integrating factor is given by x raised to h into y raised to k where h and k are constants. Now how to find h and k by solving these equalities. Which equalities? a plus h plus 1 divided by m is equal to b plus k plus 1 divided by n and one more is there a dash plus h plus 1 divided by m dash is equal to b dash plus k plus 1 divided by n dash where all a, m, n, b, a dash, m dash, n dash, b dash are constants. One is of course a constant. So by using these two equalities we can easily find the value of h and k. So these are the five rules for solving the inexact differential equation. Now in part 2 of this video we will be seeing how to solve the inexact differential equation by making use of these rules. Thank you.